Thank you so much for watching the Press Avenue YouTube channel, where we talk about WordPress tutorials for non-coders, non-techies, freelancers, and the like. My name is John, and today we're going to be talking about Yoast SEO and migrating from it and to something called SEO Press. Now, originally we had never heard of just another SEO plugin that really competes with Yoast or is better. Yes, there's other ones like All-in-One, yes, SEO, etc. Um, but we've never really found one to dive deeper into and really kind of get us excited about what we can do with our website as far as SEO. I had originally heard about SEO Press at a uh, meetup, so a WordPress meetup in Colorado, and I just took a look at it, and I even paid for the pro version, uh, which I think is absolutely fantastic. It's only, I believe, $39, and we'll take a look at that. But it does a world of stuff that I absolutely love. And in this video, we're going to talk about migrating from Yoast SEO to SEO Press. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so let's get started. First off, if this is helpful in any way, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button on the channel or the bottom right hand corner of this video. You can click subscribe. If you click the little bell, you'll be notified of more WordPress tutorials. And additionally, a thumbs up if it's helpful and a comment if you need additional help. All right, so let's switch over to um, Yoast.com. So if you type Yoast SEO in the WordPress repo, you can download Yoast um, and kind of go through it. This shows you here, just kind of here are the premium features. Um, in SEO, Yoast SEO free, you can do one keyword. In premium, you can do a lot. And we won't go through all of this, but you can just kind of see it here. And then this is $89. Um, the other one, SEO Press, uh, if you go to features and pricing, you can see they have a free version just like Yoast, and then you can compare the differences here. One big one that really stands out for me um, because I have multiple sites and I also maintain client sites is the um, free and the paid um, are unlimited sites. Um, so the Yoast is kind of per site. Uh, yes, you can put it on other ones. Um, so if you see right here, $89 excluding VAT for one site, includes one for a year. If I come over here to SEO Press, it's 39 bucks for unlimited sites, which is just unreal. And then a big part of why I like SEO Press over Yoast SEO is the white labeling. And they actually offer it in the free version and in the pro version. Um, so you can white label it. You can cut out all the kind of junk and fluff that you don't need both for yourself and for client sites. All right, so let's dive into this a little bit more. Let's see, so I'll go over to my website. So pressavenue.com is our website where you can see more tutorials um, about WordPress itself and other snippets and helpful things. What we're gonna do is switch our site live from Yoast to SEO Press so you can see how it's done. So I'm already logged in. If you haven't done so, go to wp-admin and log into your account. I'm going to go to the dashboard and then I'm going to go to plugins. And you can see we we use everything that you guys use. I'm going to come down here. I've already added SEO Press. This is the free one and then SEO Press Pro. So you have to have the free one when you have the pro um, uh, for everything to work right. So you can see right here, I've Yoast SEO. It's all set up. I don't have the premium one. I've gone in and out of owning it. Um, and I haven't really seen a benefit to having a premium over the other one. So one thing I will point out is when I go into Yoast SEO here, there's always all these ads on the side and I can get free training and it just gets confusing, especially for um, clients. Yes, you can pay to remove these and there's also a plugin that will remove it for you without paying, uh, which I'll link in the blog post. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna migrate from one to the other. I'll go to plugins. You would go to add new, search plugins, just type SEO press, one word. Um, and there it is right there. And you would install and activate. So I'll just go ahead and activate it. And we'll give it a second to go. So it's now active. So I'll just leave the free one. There's the free one there. And then right here on the left hand side is their logo. I think it looks like the Starship Enterprise from the top. You have the uh, three engines and then the body and the circle here. Anyway, doesn't matter. And when I click it, this is what I'm brought to. First off, this notice redirect database needs to be updated. That has nothing to do with it. So you can ignore that. So it shows the version that we're on and then this notification center, which I love. 
It says, we noticed that you use Yoast SEO plugin. Do you want to migrate all of your post metadata to SEO press? Yes, I do. Other things to point out, your RSS feed shows full text. Uh, they recommend obviously clipping that, and this has a medium impact on SEO. Uh, do you like us? Give us a rating. What I like about all these is you can trash them and that the notifications are just here in the center. They don't pollute all of WordPress like a lot of other plugins. Um, display more posts per page. Um, so that's displaying, I think the default for WordPress is five, and we'll go through that. Um, having a Google My Business page is a huge impact, and we highly recommend that, and so do they. So you can create a page if you don't have one, and then adding your site to Google Search Console, basically, or Google Webmaster Tools is what it used to be called. Those are the notifications right out of the gate. So we're gonna first go to Yoast SEO plugin. We'll go to migrate. And it says right here, tools. They also migrate from all-in-one SEO, the SEO framework, and then that's it, which I think is pretty good. So import, import posts and terms metadata from Yoast. That's what we wanna do. So it's gonna bring over title tags, meta description, Facebook, open graph tags, Twitter tags, meta robots, Clonical URLs and focus keywords. So if you've gone through each post, made a focus keyword and really tailor that post to get the Yoast SEO stoplight to go from yellow or red or orange to green, all of that comes over, which is fantastic. So all the work you've done in the past migrates over. This usually isn't the case from going from one plugin to another, but in this case, it definitely does that. What I always recommend before you migrate any kind of data or merge stuff or do something big is to back up your website and make sure you know how to restore it. So I've already done that, so let's get started. So if you see right here, warning, migration will delete and update all of SEO press posts and terms and metadata. So if you're planning on migrating, don't go into your posts and change a bunch of stuff and then migrate stuff over because you'll override and wipe it all out. Some dynamic variables may not be interpreted. Um, you can di do dynamic variables in Yoast, but this isn't a Yoast tutorial. And then we do not delete any Yoast data. So um, Yoast still remains untouched, just imports it into SEO press and you're good to go. So we'll go ahead and hit migrate now. Does the spinning wheel here to show that it's thinking and we will give it a moment. All right, now it says migration complete. Shows it right here in green. Um, so if I come over to a post and our latest one is how to disable WordPress comments in posts and pages. I don't know if I did a lot in Yoast on this particular one. So this is Gutenberg or the WordPress 5.0 editor. And when I scroll down, here's Yoast SEO. So I didn't do anything with this. If I scroll down further, it just says SEO. So SEO, this is SEO press. So it brought over the title, and then they recommend 60 uh, as a maximum limit, so it's in red, and then the description, and then I'm over the limit on that. I did not do anything within Yoast, so it's just pulling the defaults that WordPress inputted directly into here. In Yoast, the variable that I have is the post title dash press avenue, which is the title of the website, so you can see here how to disable WordPress comments in posts and pages dash press avenue. All right, other things to do. We'll go back to SEO, leave. It's because I didn't save it. Um, so that's been migrated. Um, other things, uh, fix this. I'll skip all these for now. We'll get into another video of everything about it, but just kind of a brief of SEO press. Titles and metas, if you don't want this feature, um, so that's within this box here then you can just turn it off. Um, if you don't want an HTML sitemap, um, so you don't want to manage your XML image, video, and whatever sitemaps, HTML sitemaps, you can just turn that off. Social networks, if you don't want open graph Twitter cards, turn it off. Um, Google Analytics, so I have a plugin dedicated right down here. Um, so this is Google Analytics dashboard. If I don't want to see that or have that plugin, I can use this SEO press plugin to manage my Google Analytics, which is incredible. All right, so back to the dashboard, and we will go through this just a little bit. So titles and meta, if I click manage, it's the same as clicking manage on the left-hand side. So if I click titles and metas, you'll see what we have. So again, I can turn it on or off, 
I can decide what my separator looks like. So I can do a dash, I can do a tilde, you can do whatever you want. Um, site title, so this is similar to the variables in Yoast SEO. So you can set site titles, dash site tagline. So if you change that in the WordPress settings area, it automatically changes it here. Uh, the meta description by default will just be the tagline if you have one. Uh, further in, you can adjust single post types. So I have posts and pages. And then right here, if you use a Elementor or Beaver Builder, so you have templates, so FL Builder template, I actually do not want to display this post in search engine results. So this is a big mistake a lot of people do is they don't go through this and turn this stuff off. Um, and then I don't do not follow links uh, for this post type. So I turn all that off. So if I have a template for my site, which I do, um, I don't want any of that stuff to show up in my site maps or in Google search because it's just a template or a layout or design I use within the site itself. So that's something I definitely change. Then I have another post type called deals, which I'll leave on. So I'll go ahead and hit save. Um, other things to point out, so if I go into archives, same thing. Here's that templates again. Do not display this post type in results and do not follow links. Author archives, by default, do not display author ar archives in search engine results. Um, I usually turn that off. Um, duplicate post warnings can come up and other different things, but you can look that stuff up as well if you want to keep it. Date archives, same thing. It's automatically turned off by default and I leave it as is. Um, so I'll go ahead and hit save. Taxonomies, if I come in here, um, categories is fine. Post tags, those are all WordPress defaults. Deals list, um, that's something I just made, another custom post type. And here we go again, Beaver Builder categories. But if we look at the category, it's the Beaver Builder dash template category. Again, don't want that stuff. So don't display, don't follow, save. And then finally, under advanced, you can choose um, no index, no archive, you can turn all that stuff off, it's all up to you. Um, but this is a public site that is being marketed out and there's no reason to turn any of this off. Uh, XML, HTML sitemap. What's great about this is some themes you can build a sitemap and then when you change another one, you can't. Um, so I use a lot of Beaver Builder stuff and Genesis stuff. And some Genesis themes you can show um, an HTML sitemap, which is built into a template. This lets you do all that without having a special theme. Um, so you can view your sitemap, you can enable it, and you can enable the HTML and hit save. Um, additionally, social networks. So under here, knowledge graph, you can set up Facebook open graph, Twitter um, cards, etc. You can have a default image, or sorry, and this one you enter your, um, if you're a personal organization, your company name, your logo, your phone number, et cetera. Get your kind of nap in there. Your social accounts, all this comes through on Google. Um, so you can put all those in here. You can connect to Facebook right here and Twitter as well. And you can choose how you want things to display, large or default, et cetera. Google Analytics, again, I think this is a huge win because you can take off other plugins um, like this Google Analytics one here. So Google Analytics dashboard, I can just get rid of, and I plan on doing that. Um, so I can enable it. I can put in my tracking ID. I can do the opt-ins. I can exclude various people. Under tracking, um, you can make it anonymous, enhanced link, cross-domain tracking. I mean, this does everything. It, it is so great. Uh, maybe I'll do a tutorial just on setting this up. The remarketing and demographics, already, I always turn this stuff on. Um, enable external link tracking, definitely turn that on. Downloads, et cetera, and then affiliate links if you use them. You can track them here. And then if you have custom stuff set up, you can turn them on or off there. Finally, going under advanced, um, this is what I love about this plugin. You can fine tune it and tweak it. So if you don't like, you can turn off trailing slashes. You can remove category from the URL. So if you have that, you can strip it out. Um, Let's see, you can verify with Google, Bing, Pinterest, etc. just like in Yoast. This, so Notification Center, I can just straight turn off Notification Center. And I'm using, this is all with the free one. I don't have the paid one set up and turned on. So I can turn off the notification, I can turn off the tools, I can turn off useful links, just really strip this down. I can remove SEO Press up here, 
from the admin bar on the front and back end. Incredible. Tons and tons of stuff in here. Um, hide the Genesis meta box. I mean, there's good stuff in here. Security. You can block the meta box based on role. So if you don't want clients going in and messing stuff up or another author, you can change that here. And then finally, under tools, you can export the settings, import the settings. There's the migration stuff. And then you can reset. So that's kind of all of it in a nutshell. If you have any questions about SEO press and how to use it, let us know in the comments. Additionally, if you have any questions about Yoast SEO, we've been using it forever. Uh, we're only recently switching to SEO press. Also let us know in the comments. And we have a Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash group slash press Avenue. If you have any questions about any of the videos that we create, you have further follow up or you want to share where you are or what you're doing, please let us know by joining this free group and we would love to answer your questions. Thank you so much for watching our video on SEO press. Thank you so much for watching our video on SEO press right below me is a box where you can click to subscribe to this channel for more great WordPress tutorials. Right next to it is a circle where you can be brought to our website to ask additional questions and get more info. Over on the right hand side here is a playlist made just for you of the most recent uploads. Thanks again for watching.